Hey there, welcome to All Sorts of Learning. My name is Sarah Swartz and I'm super excited that you're here. Something that I'm gonna show you today is how I incorporate Google Slides into my virtual digital classroom as well as in my in-person classroom. How it makes my life so much easier and hopefully how it makes your life so much easier. I'm here at Teachers Pay Teachers in my online store at All Sorts of Learning. If you go to my interactive Google Slide template and I will leave that link in the description below, you will find my Google Slides. Now, this has kind of evolved. At first, it was just five different slides, but then I had so much fun with it, and people were saying how helpful it was that I added a little bit more creativity and editable, edited, editability into it. Uh, but this link is in the Google, it's in the description below. So I have two tabs open here. The first is the actual product as it is right now. Now it might grow and update. Um, and then here it is in my classroom and I'll kind of show you how I've personalized it in my classroom. So this is the actual product. Slide one is uh, just instructions, very step-by-step -step simple instructions on how to create your own Google Slides. You'll go to file and make a copy for the entire presentation. And that's important because what you're seeing here is only editable to me. And I want you to be able to edit everything yourself. So if you make your own copy, you will be able to do that. Um, so there's step-by-step -step instructions there. Slide two is an example of what a virtual classroom could look like. So I've kind of made it uh, very simple and easy to organize. And I've kind of add some tags to help you along. Essentially, everything here can become a link. And so I make it very simple for my kiddos and my parents to navigate the online classroom. Uh, for example, if they are going to Class Dojo, they'll just click on this little bookshelf emoji of Class Dojo and it will take them to our class website. Same as uh, emailing me, heading to our Google Classroom, these things. And I'll show you how I've used mine as well. Uh, you'll also get a table of contents with the dates for 2020 to 2021 school year, and then I'll update them for the next school year as well. But they're all linked, hyperlinked. So if you click link one, it will take you to week one, which kind of brings you to this very simple but easy to see subject step-by-step to-do list. So um, for example, if it were August 3rd on week one, your students could see exactly what they were supposed to do in math, science, ELA, history, PE and if they have a language or a music or something like that and you can definitely edit all of these things as you go I've also linked to the dates because I love to be able to click through things so if it was for example Monday it would take me to slide 12 which is my Monday slide uh, so that's the table of contents. I also include a frequently asked question uh, page this is great if you don't want to answer the same question 800 times, for example, how do I log into Google Classroom? How do I contact the teacher? Uh, if you want to leave a review for, for all sorts of learning, they put that right there for you. And I will show you how I use those in my classroom as well. So you'll see some of the master slides on the left. And then I go and I, every day I made different slides. So there's four different choices as of right now for Monday. And some of them are very engaging. For example, this one has a fact of the day, joke of the day, quote of the day, today in history. And so that's something that's really fun for our class to read when we're online. And also when we're in person together, like either way, my kids have really enjoyed just kind of quirky facts or things that they're like, wow, I never knew that. Um, I also include the agenda, reminders. You can put your warm up here. Like I've swapped the reminders for a warm up so my kids know exactly what to do the moment they get into, cla in the, into the classroom. And so this slide is kind of a really engaging and fun thing. Uh, I've also hyperlinked some of those fun things. So fact of the day, I've linked a really great website called Be a Great Teacher. Every single day they link a thought of the day, joke of the day, random fact, journal idea. So this is a really great resource and that's linked. Um, joke of the day, same website. If you're looking for quotes, I've actually created a compilation of my favorite quotes. And this is something that you can simply copy and paste into your daily slides. Super fun for the kids and they can just be a really fun, engaging thing. If, if that and that's how you can start out some of those conversations. 
So I'll get rid of those two. So that's our Monday slide. Here's another choice. So the other one kind of had all of the fact of the day, joke of the day. This is a much simpler version um, where you can have your reminders or if you wanna trade this for do now so they know exactly what to do for their warm up or to start with. Um, it also includes a quote of the day. Again, you could change that for a fact of the day or the homework or things like this. And then of course the agenda, um, personalize that, personalize the date. Those are all editable. This is another Monday slide and another Monday. So on the left, you can kind of see, here's all the Monday, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays. So I kind of tried to give you some choices there and then some blank slides just with some cutesy borders as well. And then uh, again, starting from zero, just attendance, we do like, would you rather? So for example, are you a morning bird or a night owl? And it's kind of a fun way to interact with the student. Sometimes they write their responses. Sometimes they share with a partner. Um, would you rather learn uh, immediately know three languages or immediately know three instruments? And it's just really fun conversation starters. I've also included the Starbucks Cafe and all of this is editable. They have timers with them and then the master slides and of course, blank templates as well so that you can fill them in exactly how you'd like to. So there's that, this is my Google Classroom. Uh, so the other one was just kind of the the, the master slides and you can create and you can create your own copy and personalize it as you would like. I've actually done that for my own classroom because I love using the products that I create. Uh, so this is our bookshelf. Here's some of the things that I've included. Epic, Flipgrid, uh, how to email me, Agenuity, that's our online program. I also include little bonus points. So for example, if they click on this, this will take them uh, to a fun experiment that they can go to. If they click this poster, it will take them to inspirational quotes. If they click this poster, it will take them to a TED Talk. And I will actually switch those out for them so that they're always trying to find new things. Now with that, I will kind of hide some bonus points. Um, and it could be a random thing like the rug. And if they click the rug, it will say, see Miss Swartz with this secret code word for your extra bonus points or whatever it is so that I know they're constantly checking for updates, things like this. Um, yeah, the books are hyperlinked. Everything that you could think of is hyperlinked. Um, these are my social medias. If you do social media, you can definitely leave those for your kids as well. Here's a look at what my frequently asked questions look like. Uh, how, what are my, in, what are my email and passwords? I get that question all the time and it's super simple to say, look at this document. And so what I've done is I've actually created a Google doc and just hyperlinked that. So this is your email, this is your password. And I can either send this document to parents or I can say, please check the frequently asked questions on slide two. I have emailing Ms. Swartz, what times the focus classes are, all of these things. Um, again, quick find, we're up to week 19. So if I click week 19, it will take me here. Now we only do math, science, and ELA. So I didn't include this, uh, the social studies and the reading and all of that because I don't need that in my everyday calendar. But let's, for example, say today is Tuesday, December 1st. I can go to today's slide. We got to read our fact of the day, joke of the day, quote of the day, and today in history. I also keep the agenda up here, oops, because I just keep a really simple outline of the agenda, as well as the reminders for my kiddos. And then if I go to week 19, this is hyperlinked to the first slide so I can easily find things. And I've also kept some timers over here like my Starbucks cafe, which I use all the time. So again, I will go back to my week five and I've added a little home button that also takes me home as quickly as possible. So I'm not constantly scrolling up and down, but that's kind of what I can think of. My kiddos love the morning boards. We often read them when we're doing our digital classrooms. When we went in person, they still absolutely love them. Um, but it, it allows us to kind of start the class off in a really fun way. It puts the reminders right in front of them. If I put the warm up up there, it's very easy for them to find and they know where to get that information. Um, so that's really helped us in our classroom. I hope that it helps you. Of course, everything in this product is editable. So if you'd like to go check that out, I will leave the link for my TP for this TPT product in the description below. Also, 
Let me know how you use Google Slides in your classroom. What great things have you found? All of that jazz. Uh, if you have any ideas, comments, concerns, complaints, or extreme fears, let me know. I'd love to hear those. Until next time, see you later.